Good morning, and thanks for joining us on Seiyu Academy's News 663. I'm your host, Udahara Tamako, reporting live from Studio B here on the Fabergé Channel. The DA would like to remind students that alcoholic beverages are strictly prohibited on school grounds, especially in dorms. Sources report that wine smuggling has been a trend lately. If any beverages are found, please report them to the DA immediately. For those that do dorm, here's a reminder to keep in contact with your family members. Meantime, beware! Parent sit-in day is coming up now that we've started the second semester. Be sure to be on your best behavior when the day comes. And since the semester started, it seems that a number of students have been coming together for some kind of tutoring after school some days now. But there's some kind of trial that needs to be completed before you can join. Something about upperclassmen wanting to help you be able to stand on your own feet when the time comes. The membership seems rather exclusive. Down in the park, the wishing tree has recently picked up back into popularity. They say if you write a wish on a strip of paper and tie it to one of the branches, it'll come true. Why not see it for yourself? Another rumor in the area that's been gaining traction is that of a ghost that appears around the river. Assumed to be that of a student that was pushed off of it years ago, but is still hanging around to scare off anyone who finds himself there at night. Scary. As we're getting close to fall, it seems like a number of students have started throwing big house parties. If you receive an invitation, have fun, but be sure to party responsibly. Most stores in the shopping district have been having a lot of summer's end sales. Some have been promoting them by handing out tissues, but be careful. It's been reported that some of them are fake and have been nabbing wallets. A popular topic lately has been the Witch's Brew, a concoction made by a second year student who challenges anyone to try and keep it down. If you can do it, you'll earn yourself 20,000 yen. But if you fail, you'll have to pay her 1,000 for every attempt. No one's been able to succeed yet. Are you going to try the challenge? Some newer Fabergé members have been coming together to put on a charity concert. They're in need of some help if you can lend it, both behind the scenes, on stage, and in donors. Stop by the music room on the second floor for more info. In other news, one of the big happenings around campus had been the appearance of Honda Kokori, a second year student from West Otonoki Senior High who was taken to stay in Sayo's infirmary. She'd appeared at the school about a month ago after receiving a number of injuries from some of her classmates, and she sought Sayo as a refuge away from her dormitory. It was said that she'd been on her way here by train before the incident occurred, where she was cornered near the train station, but she still rode all the way here. Apparently, she'd been on her way to seek out the Sayo guardians to request their assistance before something like this could happen, but it was unfortunately too late been asked as to why she didn't seek help from her own school first, or even the help of her parents back home, but apparently the matter she was looking into was Guardian-specific. While we aren't quite sure what that means, Sei was still glad to help her recover. Kirishiki-sensei had stayed with her and oversaw most of that recovery, particularly to her mental state which had apparently taken quite a blow. Though her injuries healed up perfectly when she was finally discharged, there was still something very off about her spirit. A large group of Seiyu students had helped escort her back to the West End, though, stationing themselves at both train stations and seeing her to and from them. I'm sure she really appreciated it. They were another of all their small incidents involving students crossing between sides, too. Though the parents that had called for the OR pass ban repeal are still standing by their decision, those that had opposed it are up in arms about the incidents. With students landing in the infirmary, and worse, from fights spurred between students from either side, it's easy to understand why the ban had been settled in the first place. Can't we all just get along? On the brighter side, at least, a few weeks ago over summer break was Otsunoki's Tanabata Festival. Being a smaller town, our festival only lasts one day, but it was still a great time. With plenty of goings on between festival stalls, meeting with friends, making some wishes, or putting on a favorite yukata, there was no shortage of fun to be had. During it as well, there was a raffle held by some student council members. The third draw prize, which consisted of 3,000 student tokens, went to Akana Hall. The second draw prize, which was three Yakioke Omomori, was won by Akiyama Muna. And the first draw prize, Rishoba Anjo Omomori was taken home by Kobayashi Asuko. Congrats! A few students were also sponsored for a short Okinawa field trip. While only a small group attended, stories and photos from it showed that it seemed like a great time. Faction news! Kirishiki Notsuka welcomes the following into the Guardians. Sarah Clementine is the Queen of Hearts, Kim Jisoo as the Jack of Spades, and Mira Koami as the Five of Clubs. Sasaki Hana welcomes the following into Fabergé as well. Miramoto Yukia as the Seven of Wands, Okazaki Ai as the Ace of Swords, Iwajima Shun as the Knight of Cups, and Nakahara Miyu as the Six of Wands. Onogo greets Inukami Cole into the Roost, too, as the Clever Tracker. In the weather department, the beginning of August welcomes the hottest temperatures of the year as we've headed back for the second semester. Things seem calm for the moment, but August also means the Culture Festival is here! Students in groups of years, clubs, factions will all be working together to put out products and services for the general public, as well as upholding the friendly competition with our rivals, West Oto, who always also hold their culture fest on the same day. Let's all do our best to put on a great event! That's all for the news! I've been Udahara Tamako, and this has been News 663. Thanks for watching, and until next time, have an excellent day!